We are back. Back on the Aprilia 1100 factory. Got new tank grips on. And we finally have the Woodcraft GP shift. Kind of like shifter or whatever. This whole piece is after market and now we have GP shift. It's a little too high so we're gonna adjust it. It does a job for now. At least it's GP shift. But yeah, my foot is like very up. It's actually like pretty flat, but I like riding slightly like lower. Uh, I also have grips, handlebar grips that I want to put on. And the we're going to do that after we pick up something for him. I was going to ride the S1K today, but I figured I'll test out my GP shift because this is my first time riding with the GP shift on this bike. See how the lever is. Now the only bike left that is not GP shift is the S1000RR but since that bike is pretty much a rental, uh, if you guys don't know what I mean by rental, uh, I started my new business and I'm renting out pretty much super bikes. So yeah, you can actually rent out my S1000RR and package, but link in the description if you want to know more about that, but yeah, I'm keeping that bike regular shift not GP shift simply because I feel like more people are used to riding uh, regular shift not GP shift even though I did a poll I don't know if you guys are trolling or not but most people said like 60% I think said that they ride GP shift on my Instagram so I was like that's a lot of people so I was like okay So yeah, I'm still not sure if I want to swap. Uh, I don't need like a, a shifter or a module or anything on this 1000. I can just swap it to GP shift. It's super easy. Thank you to BMW for making it easy, unlike the Aprilia. But that's the only bike with regular shifting. It's the only bike that's going to be confusing when I ride it. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe I'll just switch it. But yeah, it's, it was supposed to be an S1000 double R day. We we're supposed to both ride because we have the exact same bike same year and everything he has a full exhaust system well kind of he has headers and then he chopped off his acro and made it into a custom shorty used to the V4R shifting. It was like redlining. Yeah, the RPMs are so different between this bike and the V4R. I mean, the V4R is the only one that redlines so high up. So yeah, I think I was saying before all of that, that he has pretty much a full exhaust system he had his he cut his acro header and made it like shorter I mean his uh, slip on and uh, he has headers on the bike but my s1000 double r only has a stage 2 tune from the brand so it'll be exciting to see how the two bikes do against each other you know exhaust versus tune Maybe we'll do some more pulls today. His bike against this bike. Try a dig on the green. Oh. The bikes are like neck and neck. <laughs> it's like, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
I got a little wobble. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. It's actually really close. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I swear it's harder to find neutral with this new shifter. Someone was having fun here. 